know that I've been MIA for a little over a year now and I do apologize for that but I've had a lot of stuff happen in my life like getting married um that took a huge toll on like just like planning and my free time so I didn't have a lot of free time to take care of my plants or go plant shopping and I just didn't have the motivation for it either um so now that we're married we're settled down we got another puppy and it's springtime and it's getting me more motivated and excited to get back into plants so i'm going to go to a nursery that i've never been to before it's about 20 minutes 20 to 30 minutes outside of fort wayne it's in decatur it's called heller's nursery and sorry i'm like shaking <laughs> oops um but yeah, we're gonna go there and I'm gonna take you guys along with me and I'm gonna hopefully buy a few plants.
shade. Gorgeous full pot. Um, $15 for that huge pot. That's all. Here's some philodendron green princess. $9. Golden philo. $8. That's gorgeous. Here's some pretty decent sized pot of, I think, philodendron xanadu. $39. This is, I believe, a cardboard palm. It's like really thick leaves. They are $25 for that huge one. Here's some Maranta, $19. A whole lot of hanging baskets. Palea Peperomioides, $10. Some more jade. Here's a ficus tanniki, $15. All of them have some beautiful pink leaves coming in. Staghorn ferns. $9.99. That is a really good price, I feel like, for this huge pot of staghorn. Ficus triangularis variegated. It's losing all of its leaves. That's 30 bucks. Ooh, what is this guy? Anthurium. Hookery eye? I don't know. I've never pronounced these names. Never seen that one before. Ooh, look at these. I believe these are a syngonium. Um, syngonium frosted heart. It's actually really pretty for $19. I might come back for that one. Kalia. Raindrop, $15. Huge baskets. I wouldn't say huge, but they're really nice trailing Port Adams for $19. I feel like they have a really good selection here for a pretty good price. Look at these gorgeous pepperomias. $9. Philodendron in Brazil. Um, don't see the price on this one. Some more spider plants, lipstick plants. Ooh, Deshidia string of spoons, $12. Some decent sized string of pearls, 15. I found this pretty long Pothos and Joy basket for only $25. I do not have one of those. So I found this Syngonium Pedophilum tri leaf wand, $15. I thought. This was a philodendron. I might end up getting this just because I love tall climbing plants. I've never seen one of these before. I found some philodendron lemon lime for $15. Pretty full basket. I just threw mine away because my other one died, so I might get that one. I just, I, there's so many to choose from and I have to limit myself. <sighs> there are these super adorable dwarf ZZ plants, or Zenzi ZZ plants for 12. Some smaller Prothos and Joy for only $8. That's pretty good. They are cute 
these philodendron pearl marks for $99. Um, like I said at the beginning, I have kind of let go of plants for the past year, so I kind of splurged today. I don't normally do this, but I haven't bought plants for like almost a year, so it was much needed, and I feel so happy to have all of these plants. I can't wait to place them all around the house. They're going to look so good. Sorry about all of my animals. <laughs> They're probably going to show up in this video. I have two dogs. And three cats and they're pretty nosy um so yeah i'll go ahead and just go and show you guys what i got i'll start with what i got at heller's um i it was really hard to limit down what all i had picked out there was so much to choose from and their prices were phenomenal like it was insane and also they have a 10 percent off going on so that kind of made me feel a little bit better <laughs> Um, so I didn't have to like pay full price. I saved like 11 bucks or something like that. I'll go ahead and start off with this curly spider plant. It doesn't have any babies yet, um, but I've been watching Plant Me Ashley and one of her recent videos shows her like getting a ginormous curly spider plant and it made me really want one. And these are just like really good to have in your house anyway. It's like a really good air purifier. Next up is this Hoya Cumangiana. It's so cute. At first, when I saw it, I thought it was like a lipstick plant or a peperomia. It kind of threw me off guard because I don't know, I've never seen a Hoya like have the shape of leaves or texture before. Um, but yeah, I Googled it to make sure it wasn't like mislabeled or anything and it's definitely a Hoya. What? You wanna come up here? Come up here and say hi to the camera. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, what did what? What do you have to say? What do you got to tell him? He he weighs like 45 pounds and he thinks he's still a lap dog. I mean, he is, but he's just kind of big. He's pretty big for a corgi. What? Do you like all the plants? And I'm very lucky. A lot of, or all of my animals are pretty good with staying out of the plants. Like they'll check them out and sniff it, but they won't like try to like knock it over or tear into it. So yeah, if you guys are wondering like how I keep all of these plants with all of these animals, I just got lucky. Okay, let's move on to, I showed this super cute cactus in the video. I like could not pass this up like it is so cute and it, the, I mainly got it just because it has an adorable little baby coming in. I'm not quite sure what type of cactus. I think it's a euphorbia. Super adorable but yeah like I got a pretty wide variety of plants today and I'm so excited for them. Oh I'll go ahead and show you guys this. I've been wanting like a lot of full hanging baskets so I got this huge philodendron brazil it has a lot of new growth so it's really healthy so beautiful i had one before i had a really tiny pot but that one died off so i wanted to add another one to my collection um what else okay this is a philodendron goldii I've never seen one like this. Super pretty. I think this might be the newest leaf, but this is so adorable. I love philodendron. Up next is the Syngonium Frosted Heart. This is so freaking cool. I love this. I picked this one out because it looked like the healthiest and it has a lot of nodes if I want to propagate it here soon. And another reason is because it has a new leaf coming in. 
and it's pretty root bound. So I'll probably end up repotting this here soon. But yeah, I really love this one. I really like this leaf. What do you think? Do you like it? Okay. And he loves being picked up and held. It's just hard because he's pretty heavy. You're a heavy baby. Okay. Moving on to another philodendron. It's labeled philodendron green princess. I've never heard of this one before but I think it will be really cute like sitting up here because I want to fill like this side of my house with plants because I just have this huge monstera that I recently got 50% off at one of the other nurseries but yeah I could not pass up that deal like I've always wanted a huge monstera and then the reason why I picked out this one also it's it looks pretty healthy it's putting out new growth I don't know if you can see that. And then also it's sticking out some aerial roots right there. And then last of the plants, I, like I said, I stopped at Walmart and now, I don't know, I'm kind of regretting getting this one over the one at Heller's just because it doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't look the greatest. I don't know if they normally are supposed to look like this. I mean, I guess the new growth right here looks pretty good, but it's older area right here it doesn't look too hot but yeah this is from Costa Farms and it's 1896 and it comes with this comes with this really nice ceramic pot I got that and then a few other accessories that I got from Walmart I'm not sure where I'm going to put this yet um but this is a hanging plant table there's like a picture can you can you move this stuff isn't for you. Can you move, please? Thanks. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And that's the macrame that it came with. I think this was like $15. And then I got a variety of different sizes of plastic saucers. Saucers. Saucers come in handy, obviously, especially during water day. And what else? Also got this spray bottle. It was $5. Like I thought that was a pretty good deal. And I've been wanting like a more aesthetically pleasing looking one because I have like a green plastic one. But I think this one will be cute to probably sit next to my Monstera. Eventually I need to get like a better humidifier because I threw all of mine out because they just, I don't know, they weren't working. And they weren't like cheap humidifiers either. I bought both of, both of them off of Amazon. So yeah, I'm, that's probably gonna be my next big purchase for my plants. And lastly, I'm not sure, I'll probably help or have my husband help me hang these up. Um, but I got these wall planters and they're like pretty like sturdy, heavy duty, um, I think it's going to look really cute on like the other side of this TV and, and it has drainage holes. I'll go ahead and get this out for you and show you. Um, I think this was $25. Um, here's like the tiniest one. That's what it looks like. And it comes with the screws. So there's three. I don't know why I put number two, but there's three, this size, um, I don't know if I can get this out right now. Oh my goodness. And there's this size. And lastly, the biggest one. And this one for a size comparison it's bigger than my head so yeah I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in these yet I'll probably put trailing plants in these I think that will look really good 
But yeah, that is all that I got today. A few things that I can't stop thinking about that I wish that I got. Um, they had these super tiny, cute pitcher plants. I've never had one and I kind of want to see how it would do in my care. So I kind of regret getting that one. And I do regret not buying the huge Mikan's basket. I think those were like, what, $39? Like that is a really good deal and they were so gorgeous. So I might end up going back before the end of the month because I do want to still take advantage of that 10% off discount. And I feel like if you can't stop thinking about a certain plant, like you should get it. Like it, it's meant to be, you know? So I'm going to try to get more on a schedule with the videos. So go ahead and hit that subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more shopping videos, go ahead and comment down below. Thanks, guys. Bye.